Hey what's up guys, it's Ben Bonk and ChatGPT is taking over the world. Seriously, it feels like I stumble across it somehow wherever I go. And if for some reason you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's basically an AI chatbot that can seemingly answer any question you throw at it. And it can even write recipes for you, or give you a workout plan, or write you a full blown essay. In short, it's absolutely mind boggling what it can do. But something that really caught my eye with it was how it has the ability to write code even C-sharp code that I can use in my game engine of choice, Unity. So I wanted to put this bot to the limit and see if it could actually create an entire video game using only code written by ChatGPT, and let's just say the results shocked me. To start off, let's set some ground rules. First, I can only use code written by ChatGPT, so no code written by me at all. Although, I will allow myself to make some small tweaks here and there, just to speed up the process a bit. And secondly, I only have 3 hours to make this game because I have other projects that I want to focus on, and I really just want to see if something like this is even possible in the first place. So with that said, I created a new Unity project and started drafting out some ideas for a simple game. At least one simple enough that I think an AI could code. Eventually, I settled with this game idea where the player would be this cube with a weapon, and they could shoot out projectiles by clicking the mouse. However, once shooting, the player will be massively knocked back, and this would be the only way the player can move in the game, so the shooting would serve as a bit of a dual purpose mechanic. The player would then have to kill as many enemies as possible to increase their score, and if they ran into an enemy themselves, it would be game over. With this idea in mind, instead of getting straight into writing some code myself, I hopped into ChatGPT, which felt really weird. To start off, we needed a player script, so I asked ChatGPT to write me one, which would allow for the player to take damage, and if they ran out of health, the game would stop. In a moment of truth, I hit enter, and after a few seconds, the chatbot started spewing out this. Now, if you know the Unity game engine at all, you'll notice this code looks a little strange. And this is because of instead of writing the code in C-sharp, Unity's main programming language, ChatGPT decided to write this script in Python, which really caught me off guard. It even addressed this in a paragraph below the code, explaining how the code was written in Python using the Unity Engine API. But from what I can tell, Unity just doesn't support Python, so I had to give this another go, but still this interaction was quite unexpected and interesting. I modified my request to include the keyword C sharp, and just like that, I had working code that I could use in my game. I mean, seriously, how cool is that? It even writes a paragraph or two in detail about what the code does and how to implement it. Now, this is cool and all, but I actually noticed something troubling. This code was written for a 3D Unity game by using the onCollisionEnter function instead of the onCollisionEnter 2D function. So I decided to put the bot to the test and told it to convert the code to work with 2D projects. And boom, it gave me a thorough explanation on how to convert the code to work with 2D projects and sent the changes back to me. Now, this code was perfectly usable, but I noticed something a little interesting. In this line right here, the code checks if an object it collided with has the tag of an enemy using string comparison. And if you know a bit about comparing object tags in Unity, you may know that this is typically not the best practice out there, and it's more optimal to use a function called compare tag. So I wanted to put the chatbot to the test again and ask if they can optimize the code any further. And it hit me back with this. Essentially, all it did was add an unused rigid body reference to the script. Now, I don't know too much about optimization in Unity, but to me, it looks like this code does nothing at all. But please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. The chatbot also recommended that I use ischematic on this rigid body to stop the game, which is an optimization, I guess, but I wanted the whole game to be frozen when the player dies, not just the player themselves, so I kind of just ignored this. Anyways, I eventually copied the unoptimized code and dropped it into a new player script in Unity. And look, even my IDE is disgusted by this string comparison, so I just manually fixed it. I then spent a few minutes setting up the player object and headed back into ChatGPT. Now I needed a weapon script that would be able to shoot projectiles and also add knockback to the player. One question later, and boom, we had a script. But I noticed that I forgot to specify that the code should be for a 2D project, and I wasn't clear enough with who the recoil should be added to, so with a modification request later, we now had a weapon script for the game. Well, almost. Something interesting I found was that the bot didn't fully convert the code to work with 2D. I mean, it did here, but not here, so that was kind of interesting. Also, can we just take a minute to recognize that this code right here is, at least in my opinion, good, clean, readable code. It may be a little unoptimized with this git component con update, but I mean, if you had no experience with programming at all, you could still understand exactly what this code does, thanks to all the extensive documentation on practically every line. So I just find that truly amazing, and there's always a paragraph or two below explaining exactly how the code works. Anyways, I started setting up this weapon in game, and just like that, the player could now shoot projectiles and be knocked back at the same time. 
But I noticed that this weapon wouldn't rotate towards the player's mouse position, so I asked ChatGPT to modify it, and upon putting this into the game, it didn't quite work. Again, I realized I forgot to specify that I was working in a 2D environment, and now the code still didn't work. So I asked ChatGPT again to modify the code to only rotate the weapon on the Z axis. And now it was just really glitchy for some reason, so I asked ChatGPT, like, dude, why is this code so glitchy? And my man responded with some in-depth paragraph about vector 3 dot signed angle, which is something that I've never seen before in my four years of working with Unity. And it's definitely not how I would go about making this sort of rotation system. But surely after this long-winded explanation, the code would work, right? Nope, it was still glitching out. Eventually, I realized that the code was written to only work with 3D games, again, even though I specified that I was working in a 2D environment before. Though, I guess the chatbot just forgot about that part. Anyways, now we had things working. Finally. And it was time to move on to making a projectile script. I asked away, and the bot delivered this script. I also noticed that I actually forgot to specify in my initial request that I was making this a projectile script. But somehow, the bot just guessed that this was what I was making, and named the script accordingly. I mean, seriously, fascinating stuff. But moving on, I asked for some modifications to destroy the projectile after a set period of time if it doesn't collide with anything, and destroyed the projectile if it collided with an object with the ground tag. This code worked, but I noticed that again, it didn't use compare tag, so I requested it to use it, and yeah, it worked and changed the code. So I fiddled around a bit, and now the projectiles would destroy on hitting terrain or an enemy object. But we still need a way for the enemies to take damage, so I asked ChatGPT to write me an enemy script that could take damage, and after some more tinkering, the player could now kill enemies. And speaking of these enemies, we still needed a way for them to spawn. And I decided to put ChatGPT to the test. Not only did I want an enemy spawner, but I also wanted to spawn these enemies in a random position inside of a certain bounds, while increasing the spawn rate over time. And to my surprise again, it delivered perfectly. Except this time, the bot kind of froze towards the end, and wouldn't let me send another message. So I copied this code, but before testing it, I was a bit annoyed how it handled the spawning bound system, so I copied this script and requested it update the script to use a box glider to visualize the spawn bounds. And again, the bot delivered. And I could now set this box glider, and I also requested it to add a few checks so that enemies couldn't spawn on top of each other, the player, or terrain. And now we finally had a functioning enemy spawn system. But as you can see, the player could kind of fling himself off the map. So to fix this, I requested ChatGPT to make a smooth camera fall system, and you get the deal by now, it worked, and it worked pretty well too. Also, shout out to ChatGPT for being so wholesome. Anyways, next on the agenda, I wanted to make a score manager so the player could score points when killing an enemy. It produced this, and I was kind of impressed by how the bot made a separate function for updating the score text, if I ever needed to use that function elsewhere. Once importing it, I asked exactly how I'd go about updating the score from another script, and yeah, it told me exactly how I could do so. I also pretended to not know how to make UI, and it guided me through the process. Though my text was kind of blurry, so I asked it why it's blurry, and it told me to change the setting, though I couldn't actually find the setting, so I asked where that setting was, and yeah, I just kind of gave up and resorted to using Text Mesh Pro. After that, I just started setting up the room for the game, and now things were really starting to come together. One of the final main things I needed to do to wrap up the game loop was to get the enemies to move towards the player. ChatGPT told me to try using Nav Mesh to create a pathfinding system for these enemies. I tried for quite a while, but I've never used Unity's Nav Mesh system before, and I was really struggling to figure it out, even after asking ChatGPT for some assistance. So I just had the bot give me a less optimal, non-pathfinding solution. But now, the game was really starting to come to a close. All I needed was a way to restart the game, and you know the drill by now. With that done, I considered ending development right there, but I figured I might as well try to add a bit of audio. I asked ChatGPT to make me a shoot sound effect, and yeah, looks like that won't be happening. So instead, I asked for some resources to get 8-bit sound effects, and it delivered. I searched through freesound.org and found an effect I liked. I also asked for a place to find royalty-free music, and I found some on opengameart.org. Now we had to set these sounds up in-game, so I got the bot to make me an audio manager, and yeah, now the game had audio. And now for the final change, I asked the bot to tweak the weapon script so the player could hold down the mouse button. And chat GPT kind of froze before finishing the code, but still I tried copying it and it sort of worked, but there was no shot cooldown. So I was like, yo, what's going on here chat GPT? And it was like, I don't know, sorry man. So I was like, the shot timer doesn't get reset. And this time it actually finished the code it couldn't before. 
turns out all I needed to add was this one line, so I found that kind of interesting. Anyways, I felt happy with the game by this point, so I exported it, uploaded it to itch.io, and yeah, the link is in the description if you want to play it. Overall, I think ChatGP is actually insane. I wasn't sure if ChatGPT would be able to actually complete this challenge, but it did, and seemingly with ease. I undoubtedly think AI like this will revolutionize game dev a ton over the coming years. And it's really interesting to see how it approaches programming challenges, as many times it approaches things in a much different manner than I personally would. In conclusion, there's lots to learn, and I'm excited to see how AI like this evolves in the future. But before I go, let's see what ChatGPT thinks about my game. Oh, uh, okay then.